This is only the next day after I made my first batch of hot process soap, but it was so much fun that I wanted to do it again, and I wanted to add a fragrance. There's going to be a lot of experimenting today. Oh, this light water is so dark. Well, it's coffee lye water with coffee grounds. Now, I haven't waited to uh, get advice from my viewers yet before trying this, so hopefully this is okay. We're going to find out what's going to happen. Alrighty, we got our oils melted now. Let's stick blend. If you're curious, the temperature right now is 121. I did put some Tussa Silk Fiber in my live water. Hopefully that's okay to do early. Hopefully that the process of the hot process doesn't like make the Tussa Silk not work. I don't know. And now we wait. like we're ready to stir. Smelling really good again. Can I add soap shreds to this? I was planning on it. Uh, do you think it's okay for me to do that? And would I add it now? This is Experiment City. That's where I'm living today. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm very curious because I haven't seen anybody do this. I've seen people rebatch their soap, but not add soap shreds to their hot process. Let's see what happens. Isn't that a nice sound? The brown doesn't look quite as beautiful as a uh, white. I'll wait again. Be back again. This is looking pretty Vaseline-like, wouldn't you say? Which is supposed to be our final stage. So I turned off the crock pot. Let's see how our temperature is right now. It's around 220. So I'll wait for it to cool down until just under 200, and I'm going to add a couple things, which will be fun. I think I'm going to remove it from the pot thing. There we go. Right back when it's cooled off. Now I'm going to add castor oil and honey again because I liked a lot how the honey acted. And then I'm going to add clay, white kale and clay, goat milk, and my fragrance oil is Amber Noir. And I'm also adding white pearl mica to try to lighten up this dark brown. We're going to see how it goes. With adding that lighter extra stuff, it helps me know how well I have it mixed in, too. Let's add it to our mold.
came out smoother than my first batch. And I suppose that's from adding some milk and stuff. Wait for that to cool. Hopefully it looks okay as a bar. Six hours later. Interesting texture in there. <sighs> Let's hope it looks okay. Well, interesting. We've got some... Kind of looks like decorations in here. Don't we? It actually looks kind of nice. It looks marbled. If marble was all brown. It's not bad, in my opinion. I had pretty low expectations on its appearance. It smells very nice. I forgot to tell you the notes for Amber Noir. It's got top notes of mandarin, middle notes of cedar and jasmine, base notes of sandalwood, amber, and dark musk. Maybe the, maybe the men will like this one. This fragrance could definitely be for a man, I think. It's got some sparklies from that pearl mica. You can kind of see it. Isn't that amazing? I made this soap six hours ago, and here I am cutting it. It's wild. I have to say... I'm a fan of hot process soaping, though it is difficult to get a pretty bar. It's definitely easy to get a, uh, a good bar. You don't have to worry about soda ash. You don't have to worry about acceleration, which is interesting. Because people are always worried about acceleration. Or ricing. any of that stuff. You don't have to worry about it with hot process, at least to my knowledge. It's pretty cool. There are certainly advantages to the soaper of both. Cold process, you can make some beautiful soaps. In hot process, you can make uh, several soaps and have them ready pretty quickly. And here is our final soap with our stamp. We're in a different room right now. We're actually in the dining room. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the hot process soap making. I sold a couple soaps, which is exciting. That's always a, a good day when you sell some soap. This is my shipping stuff just kind of in the dining room that I, that I clean up and then I take it all back out and make a mess and then I clean it all back up and then, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my second hot process soap making video. I hope you got a little bit of enjoyment, and I hope to see you again. Great thing about hot process soap is I get to test it immediately. Actually, I cut this mm, four hours ago, so it's had a little bit of time to, to dry, I guess. I don't have my husband here to help me demonstrate. He's in the other room. It was just a convenience. It was a, a lucky convenience that he showed up at. Uh, first time. And we've got our nice bubbles. I don't know if I can blow a bubble like Aaron did. He was, let's see if I can. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> nope. I wonder if I would actually be able to make a bubble that would would let go and float away. That would be really cool. I wonder what kind of ingredients would help something like that happen. See that? <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be like a new tradition with my with my uh, <laughs> sudsing videos. Is can I blow a bubble with them? Yeah, you're really sweet if you'd stayed for the video this long. We'll go ahead and run. You see, you see the nice bubbles. Bubbles up real nice and easy. Doesn't take a whole lot of scrubbing effort. 
Real nice bubbles. Nice cute little sample I get to keep for myself. And the nice coffee grounds for exfoliating. I'm happy with these bars with the, the interesting marbled look it ended up with. Thank you so much for spending time on my little tiny channel when there's so many other awesome, talented people to hang out with. I appreciate you. See you next time.